Okay. What's going on, everybody at Bunker Labs? My name is Will Crane. I'm joining Liz Marion a little bit this week. Um, well, we try to bring some content to the community. Uh, I work for Bunker Labs. I work uh, in the communications media marketing team. And today we're going to be talking to um, Ann Bernard. And let's just dive right in. And who are you? Uh, what do you do uh, at Bunker Labs? And what is your startup? Hi, Will. Thank you for having me. So I am a... <laughs> We have not launched our chapter yet, but I'm a Las Vegas city leader. Our launch was scheduled for April 16th, and now it has been delayed to hopefully June. But I'm one of the city leaders for Las Vegas, and I am also the master of first time. So my startup, I have run a tech startup. It's called 365 First, which owns the 365 First Challenge. So what I do is I encourage people to have first times and new experiences in order to maximize what they get out of life. Hmm. So what are you doing right now? The um, in-person experience is so it's difficult to do. Well, no, it doesn't have... It doesn't have to be in-person experience. So what's happening right now has definitely caused me to shift and pivot on my approach. But ultimately, because, well, ultimately now everyone has been thrown into a new reality, a new situation. So it's kind of ideal because it does go along with what the having first time in your experience is all about. So it is ultimately about self-development, right? It is how you handle your environment when it changes, how you adapt to change, but it is also how you grow through that. So the app is about you selecting first times and your experiences in order to change and grow who you are. Mm -hmm. But sometimes life handles and hands you uh, those experiences. So I'm, sh I'm pivoting to still educate people on how to best handle those situations, but also if you're gonna be stuck at home. So I wrote a blog post and it's called how to enjoy being quarantined. <laughs> and I go through like all the first times and new experiences that you can have at home, even if you're by yourself, but with your family. Uh, things like learning a new instrument, learning a new skill, uh, teaching each other, right? So if you're sharing a household with someone, someone knows something that you don't know that you might not have never done. So uh, communicating uh, first times in your experiences. So I'm really... I'm taking this opportunity. It's changing my marketing plan, but I've, I've this week, uh, actually, like the last few days, it has been doing that shift in order to still be relevant, in order to speak the language of what's happening right now, providing a service, providing um, assistance, mm -hmm. and hopefully that helps create my my movement and helps me get momentum for my business. Mm -hmm. So you said that it, it's shifting your marketing plan a bit. So moving toward the professional side, I'm going to put you on the spot here a little bit. What are some things that you're working on right now professionally that are moving your business forward in this time of quarantine? I am, so I'm in the process of growing my team. So the other thing that I have is called Next Level First Coaching, which is tied to, again, your journey of first times and your experiences and your growth. So I am bringing, I'm onboarding 15 coaches to be Next Level First coaches. So that's tying a lot of my time right now, but it's really great because I work from home and the coaches are from all over the United States. Actually, one is in Canada. So no matter what, we're going to be using this technology. So that's one of the big things that I'm also focusing on because having a team sets me up for greater success as mm -hmm going through this and then getting past this so mm -hmm. once you know we go back to regular programming my team will be there to then go back to the original plan mm -hmm. so you're probably spending some time thinking about this is it's it's kind of like uptime like it's time to grow and time to build as opposed to Correct. like okay like we, yeah. we can't do anything yeah so i think the the biggest thing is you have to continue to you know adjust and to think about your plan so either either you can adjust and continue to grow your business or you have to create some shift or it could be a pause so perhaps there are certain things that you haven't had time 
there are things that you want to implement and you haven't had time. And mm-hmm. now you find yourself, you can't continue to run your business the way that you have. So what does the future look like? So let's implement those things that you're going to do later. Let's do it now. So it's definitely all about seizing this as a moment of opportunity. Mm-hmm. Love it. Are you home right now or where are you? I mean, you have a whiteboard behind you. looks pretty filled in. <laughs> that's only one of them there's a second i am i am i am at yeah. home this is my my home office and mm-hmm. my dog's at my feet and yeah i got the whiteboards a couple monitors you know and then i do a podcast i'm always set up to do yeah to do that mm-hmm. oh, amazing yeah i so see you have the mic there you have a great We might have lost Will for a second. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know it was on him or me, so his internet might have dropped again. Yeah, it might have dropped. Um, as we're going through these times, it's actually kind of funny that uh, we are like having, you know, internet uh, interruption and thing, and a lot more people are actually um, on the internet, obviously working. Um, but I think what what to his sentiment is that Anne has a great setup in talking about um, you know, for podcasts and stuff and her whiteboard and in the home office. So what are the things that you've kind of stopped doing though, Anne, in terms of, you know, your business because of this current situation? Uh, there really hasn't anything that I, that I have stopped. It's, it's all been shifts. So actually even for, for the podcast. So next week, so this week, my guess is John O'Bacon and we're talking about crowdfunding. So I kept that. But next week, my guest was going to be on uh, expert advice for your first time uh, volunteering for the Peace Corps. Well, that's not really relevant to what's happening right now. So I went out and I found myself a guest expert advice for your first time homeschooling because a lot of people are finding themselves in that situation where they're homeschooling for the first time. So it's all about making things relevant. So I guess if I have stopped anything, if it is the things that were not relevant in the approach and shifting it to making it relevant. Will is back. (laughs) We can see him. Um, Can you hear us, Will? Probably not. Seems <laughs> well, so Anne, we don't want to take too much of your time because we do want to make sure that you get back to building your business. Um, but can you tell us about some resources that you would suggest to entrepreneurs um, and how you know they can utilize those or spend this time that you referenced um, really upping on the education and knowledge base so they can continue to grow and move their businesses forward? So I can't think of like specific things right now, but I know there are a lot of articles that are out there, but I think the biggest thing, if you are a new entrepreneur, what makes us entrepreneurs is our creative problem solving, right? It's the out out of the box thinking. So it's really putting on that hat or finding the articles and the tools that allow you to do that because those are going to, so there's some, they're just, their business are just going to survive this. Some, their business might not survive, but there are some who will thrive and those are going to thrive are the ones that are going to do that out of the box thinking. They are going to do what I'm doing right now and pivoting to make yourself relevant, finding that angle. So do your research. What is happening? What are people looking for right now? What are people going to be so if you're, if you're not relevant now, what are people going to be looking for when the situation goes back to normal and we start shifting back to normal? What is, you know, you have to project. You really, you know, to be successful in business, it is about being able to anticipate what the market is going to do, what your clients are going to be looking for, and then being right there ready to provide for them. So take that time have lots of whiteboard, do your brainstorming, go out to the community. You know, the Bunker Lab community is really awesome. And ask, ask people like what they think the needs are going to be as we're moving forward. You, you, you ha- you're constantly anticipating and looking forward and that requires taking some risks. So you might invest your energy or your time or your effort in one area and it might, it might not pan out, but Again, that's, that's what being an entrepreneur is all about because sometimes you're going to take the risk, you're going to fail, sometimes you can take the risk and it's going to pay off big. I think Will is back now. Are you back? <laughs> yeah, I, don't, I just, I, I don't even know what has happened. <laughs> 
I can hear him. I can hear you guys perfectly the whole time. Everything was fine. <laughs> you just couldn't hear him see me. Yeah. It's all good. We were like laughing because everybody's using the internet now too. Yeah. That, you know, and, and actually Zoom had like 5 million downloads on Monday. So like it's, you know, they said you might be expecting um, some lapses. So I wasn't, mm -hmm. I wasn't like shocked when you dropped off. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. That's, that's good to know. Cause I'm definitely, I, been using Zoom a lot and I'm even using it more. So mm -hmm. I hope they're, well, I hope they're, now that they know that they're doing everything they can to, to prep themselves for it. Absolutely. Well, Anne, thank you so much for your time and, and for sharing with us and how you're moving your business forward, especially during this weird time. Will, thanks for being here. You're going to see more of him <laughs> um, and myself and the rest of our Bunker Labs leadership team. Well, thank you very much for having me. Thank you. Thanks, Anne. Bye, guys.